Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. I wanted to show you all the things that I found at uh, the garage sales I went to this weekend. Haven't had a very successful couple of weeks. Um, you know, this weekend was kind of the same, but um, you know, did find some things that'll make some money. No home runs though. So this was kind of a um, kid stuff meets Jersey Shore weekend. <laughs> so I'll explain that in a minute. Um, the kid stuff part is because I found a lot of um, kid themed items. Uh, this huge stack of Winnie the Pooh books was at a sale I went to. They were donating all their profits to the local food pantry, but their prices were amazing. So I got all of these books. These are four Winnie the Pooh board books, or five, five board books. And this is a hardcover storybook. These are the only two paperbacks, and and these are all pretty thick. Growing up stories, Once Upon a Time, Twenty the Pooh, Easy to Read Stories, Storybook Treasury, Great Big Word Book, and Anytime Stories. I got all of these for ten cents a piece. So this whole stack only cost me a dollar and forty cents. So I'm going to sell that as a lot, and that should do. Um, pretty well uh, since you know especially since the movie came out a couple weeks ago so there's gonna be a lot of kids with Winnie the Pooh on the brain which means their parents will have Winnie the Pooh on the brain which uh, you know might be good for me and then at that same sale um, sorry drop something I found this little um, bubble coat this is a Build-A-Bear coat for a quarter to add to my Build-A-Bear clothing lot that I bought uh, a couple weeks ago and I found this nice Disney puzzle thousand pieces um, saw one that sold for 10 or 15 I think and and this one's used but so is that one so not a bad purchase for a quarter uh, then at another sale it was mostly baby things but I did find this nice Vermont teddy bear he does have the labels on him back here and um, you know Vermont teddy bears don't do very well but I may be able to sell them with the um, Build-A-Bear lot so we'll see I don't know if the clothes will fit him or not but just putting Build-A-Bear and Vermont teddy bear in the same title might um, you know give the sales a boost. Um, then I went to another sale and found um, this kid's camera. Oh, the, the teddy bear was four dollars. It was a little more than I wanted to spend, but oh well. Um, and for another four dollars I found this VTech uh, kitty zoom camera. My daughter has one of these in pink and she loves it. It takes digital pictures. Um, there's also games you can play in here, special effects you can add to the photos. It's a really neat camera. And it came with the second faceplate, the software, and both the cables. The only thing that's missing is the instruction manual, which I can, um, I've already found and I can print that out online. I'm hoping to make about 20 on that. And at that same sale, I picked up this purse. This is a relic purse, really nice embossed. Um, don't think it's leather. Looks like leather though. But I think I'm going to keep this for myself. Just because it's nice, it's got a zippered pocket here and a big pocket here and a whole bunch of pockets inside. And most of my purses are like black holes, so I might use this one for a while. Now my daughter heard me talk about her camera, now she's got her camera out. Um, so I might keep this for a while. This is also a good New York purse because, um, you know, it zips and it's deep, so it would, uh, take someone a little longer to, uh, get to your stuff if they tried. Say cheese, bigger. Um, then at another sale, continuing with the, uh, kids theme, I found this little car's car 
and I had to put new batteries in him, but he does make noise. That's pretty much all he does, the engine revs. But, um, not bad for a quarter. Then, I found this backpack. I paid $2 for this, but the rest of the stuff I'm going to show you is so cheap that I didn't mind paying the $2 for this. But this is a cute backpack in really nice shape. It's great for um, a toddler or, or a preschool backpack because it's one of the smaller ones. So I got that. Then they had a table full of clothes for 50 cents. And I found this little bear hat from Rainforest Cafe for 50 cents. Found a cute Jimboree shirt. And then I'm going to pair that with this pair of Oshkosh. Um, jeans that are the same size and then I found this cute sweater for 50 cents and I did find one of these that just sold recently um, not brand new it sold for uh, $19.99 so I'm probably gonna just put this up for a buy it now $19.99 and then finally um, I got a clothing lot at that same sale, 50 cents a piece. I got a pair of cars, slippers in really nice shape. I got two pairs of pajamas because the lady had twin boys. So it's the button down collared shirt and the pants. So I got two sets of those. And then to finish the uh, pajama lot out, there was this really nice hooded robe. It does have the, the belt, has the Lightning McQueen on the pocket, and these are all from the Disney store. So that should do well as a lot together. I probably won't put it up for um, another probably month and a half when people start thinking about fall clothes. Uh, so that was, I think, pretty much all the kids' stuff that I bought. Then I found another sale. The ladies' prices were a little high, but it ended up being worth it in the end. She had a lot of um, crafty stuff, kids, uh, kids stuff, uh, kids stuff on the brain, cross-stitch stuff. And I found this Teresa Wensler kit. It's called Tapestry Cat. Uh, I paid three dollars for it. It's brand new. Teresa Wensler is one of the top uh, cross-stitch designers. And anyway, when I researched this, found out that um, two of them sold recently. One for thirty dollars and one for thirty-two. So this one should do really well. I just listed that last night. And then she had this Stony Creek um, cross-stitch booklet. Stony Creek is another good company. There's only a few companies um, as far as cross stitch goes that I'll even consider purchasing. But I should be able to make I don't know, maybe five to ten on this. This was uh, I think a dollar. Then for I should charge me two or three on this. I think it ended up being three. But this is the photo mosaics puzzle of the Titanic. Really cool puzzle thousand pieces um, brand new sealed so hoping to make some decent money on that and then she had this book about buttons she apparently collects buttons and had mistakenly bought two of these books there's some really cool buttons in here and I mainly bought it for like research purposes but then when I came home and researched the actual book itself um, it's worth like thirty or forty dollars. So I will eventually be selling this. Okay, then finally, uh, I think I got like six more things to show you. I went to one sale early in the morning on um, Saturday, and that was nice because as I was driving down the road, um, all the balloons were taken off. We have um, 
our town hosts like the biggest balloon festival in the country every July and as I was driving to the sale I was going in that direction and all the balloons were taken off so that was really cool but this is a book that I got for a dollar called um, Paintings from Norway really nice book because it has all these prints in here they're all printed on art paper of all these famous Norwegian artists including like Edvard um, Monk, I don't know if I'm saying that right. The one who does that, um, did that painting called The Scream, that real creepy looking one. That was a dollar, and then I paid $20 for this guy. This is Oscar, he's a cookie jar. It says Oscar on the bottom. I think he's from the 50s, and he does have his original hat is the lid so I'm hoping to make maybe like 50 on him so you know it's a lot of wear on the paint and everything but no really significant chips or cracks or anything like that then I went out on Sunday because Friday and Saturday I had to take my daughter with me who is not a fan of garage sales and it was hot so um, I didn't get to as many as I wanted to so Sunday I took off by myself and I went to the next county and went to a few sales out there and that's why I said it was kind of like um, Jersey Shore because some of the people's houses I went to was just like ridiculous you know high maintenance Jersey hair uh, at this one sale and they were selling all kinds of hair products and I didn't buy anything there another sale they um, looked like they should have been you know had a table set up on the streets of New York because they were selling you know designer sunglasses and bags and um, so obviously I couldn't buy anything there and sell any of that. And then I went to another one where, you know, this guy was sitting in his lawn chair and I walked down his driveway and he kind of like, you know, lifted his, his chin up and gave me that like nod and looked at me and was like, you know, how you doing? I'm like, really dude, you're like 40. You know, why don't you go down the shore to seaside with, you know, the situation in Pauly D and go hang out with them. Ugh, it's crazy. But that town is also like five minutes down the street from where they film um, Jersey Licious, if any of you guys watch that. Oh, it's just funny because it, they make us look so bad. It's so stereotypical Jersey and most of us are not like that at all. And my husband just shakes his head whenever I watch that show. I watch it because they're, they're going to all these places we go to. They go to the diner we go to. They go to the restaurant we had a rehearsal dinner at. It's crazy. Anyway, um, went to another sale, really nice little old lady. I got this Chilton's Repair and Tune-Up Guide for 10 cents. It's from 1979. Then I found a, what's this? This is a soldering gun. Now I'm not gonna be able to get it open. There we go. This is an old soldering gun from Weller. Weller's a really good name for like soldering guns, um, heat guns, stuff like that. But it's pretty much complete, has the instructions, has all this cool old advertising in the lid. And the gun does work, the light lights up. So, I paid three bucks, so we'll see how that does. And then the very last sale I went to, I found a little pair of Build-A-Bear shoes for a dollar to add to my lot, which, you know, brand new, have never been used. And found this piece of Pyrex. The reason that I bought it, it was a dollar. It is missing. Um, it should have a clear, clear glass lid on it. The reason I bought it is because it was pink and found out that, you know, pink is a pretty desirable color in Pyrex. So, if nothing else, I learned something. And then I found this really nice Snoopy ornament from Waterford. And this was also a dollar. And, um, brand new in the box, all the paperwork, and it's worth about 20 or 25. So, I think that's it, and um, hope you all had great luck this weekend, and good luck with your sales, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.